Okay, I'm out on my property, just uh, to the east of my house. I mean, I can see my house from here, but you won't see it through the bush. And I told you on a couple of the other videos, I'd show you my coyote snare set that I keep on my own property. I actually have two of them, one on each end. My property's a, a mile long here, so. But this is what I do. I've had this thing here for a couple years. This is just six foot high, um, I guess six inch fencing. Four inch would work fine too. Um, I put it in in the fall. Well, it's, it's been here, like I said, for a few years and it's I just keep it here all the time. I'm surrounded by farmland, this little patch of bush in here. And see what I do is I've got two openings cut in the in the fencing and the coyotes get used to going in and out of there all summer long and then when I get into where there's some snow then I set the snares like so in these two openings and these are ram power snares I've got one right over there also, just as a walk by where between the fence and that tree there. Now this thing is about maybe 25 feet across. I got I bought a hundred foot roll and it made two good size sets like this. And then this is just where all my scrap animals go, like the carcasses. I got like there's a lynx carcass there, there's coyote right there, timber wolf. Uh, there's a fisher carcass over there, an otter right there, just a bunch of stuff. Now I've got another load back at the house i got to bring over to the other one. Like I said, it's now, you know, in January, and uh, I've caught so far since, oh, I guess I probably put these out to December 1st, sometime around there once I got done, just after December 1st when I got done deer hunting so I could check it regularly. Uh, that's another thing because you, you don't want to leave the things, especially up here where we got a lot of ravens, because um, the ravens will be all over this bait that's in here. But you don't want to leave the uh, coyotes in the snares too long because the ravens will get at them and, and then you got about five days before the other coyotes will just come along and eat them if there's no other bait here. But anyways, like I said, I've caught, out of the two sets, I've caught nine coyotes so far this year. Um, nine that I kept and then I had two that were eaten too much by ravens that I just threw back into the pen. They were no good. So, Anyways, I told you I would show you that set. It's pretty basic. Um, the only thing you want to do is on the ground, right down on the bottom row, like I said, this is six foot fence and so there's about two feet of snow here right now. But on the ground in the fall you want to put uh, some logs through some of the holes so that it holds the fence down or the coyotes will just sneak under any spot where it's loose enough to, that they can get under there. But like you see, the, the grass eventually grows up in between the strands. And the coyotes around here are used to going through, uh, you know, barbed wire fences in all the fields, uh, electric fences and everything else. So this fencing after a while doesn't bother them too much. And uh, But I would imagine if you're in an area where there's no fences, this set will probably not work unless you set it up way ahead of time maybe and and uh, keep rebaiting it but where uh, like I said the, either the coyotes are kind of stupid up here or else they just don't mind it because they're used to crawling through fences but anyhow that is the coyote set on my property like I told you I'd show you and I'll see if I I've just never remembered to bring a camera out here with me before today. So if I do, I will, uh, when I come back, I'll try and remember the camera and see if we catch anything else. There's not too many coyotes left running through here. I see a couple tracks running in and out of here. Um, like I said, the snares haven't been set for a while. And I, uh, I just reset them today and threw some fresh bait in there. So we'll see if we get anything else. Alrighty. Yeah, I just wanted to show you one other little thing I use on snares. Just a handy little trick. Oh, I should break up here, but anyways. Um, piece of hay wire. Let me 
see it there on the bench wrapped around. And you just bend the end of it into a shape like this. It's got a like a W. And this opening there is just slightly smaller than the snare wire. And it holds it in place like this. And what comes along pulls it out. And it's, a, it's really good for holding the snare. You see, especially the these power snares have a tendency to just hang straight down. You just lift it up here. Squeeze it into place. And set it up into whatever position you want. To get her partially closed. I'll just hang on a second. Just open it up a little bit on me. There you go. You just set it up at whatever height you want it. And uh, I use these on the regular snares too, just to hold them in place out in the, the bush. That was just a little help thing here. But this is the second of the uh, coyote baits. And here's the, the one pass through the snare right there. And there's the other one right over there. And this is the other side of my prop. And there I think you can see through there. Awful windy today. Anyway, my house is right over there. You can 